<clears throat> oh, looky who's awake. I'm so sorry. Did I just wake you up by clearing my throat so loudly right in your ear? Oh, that's too bad. No, get up. Get out of bed. We got things to do. Listen, you can sleep all you want when you're dead, but not on my time. Now, come on. Get up. We got lots of work to do. That's right. See that window over there? You know what that means, don't you? The window over there. Yeah, that one. That one. It means the sun's up and we got things to do. Come on. Follow me out the window. Let's go. Hurry it up. I go down You better get down here. You better be right behind me. Come on now. We got a lot of work to do. Sheesh. You sleep all day, wouldn't you? You sleep your whole life away. It's a good thing you got me around. All right, come on. Let's go. Are you coming? You better be right behind me. I'm going to turn around and you better... Okay, good. All right, now let's get inside. Lots to do today. Let me put my umbrella away. I think it's like bad luck or something. All right, step into my office, if you will, and make yourself at home. Pull up a chair. I've got a few last minute chores to take care of before we head out on our mission. And I'll give you the briefing as soon as I have everything I need. Let's put the umbrella away. And let's throw the helmet on my old blue noggin. And now... Hey! Dude, you left the door open. What, are you living in a barn? You're gonna let all the flies out! He gads. Um, you know what else we need, of course, is a primary weapon. We're gonna take the Eagle Fire, which I love so very much. I would marry it if it were blue and a Smurf. Um, oops. And some magazines. Although we don't really have a lot of magazines, do we? He gads. Alright, well, we'll be on the lookout for those today. We only have two magazines. One has zero rounds, and the other has seven, but I think I've got 30 in the weapon itself. There it is. Yeah, okay. So, 30 plus 7 is 37, plus zero is also 37, uh, according to my calculations. Anyway, okay. Um, here. Let's take a look at the map. So, we are going to go down to Paradise Point. As far as I know, this was some kind of military staging area that the military set up to evacuate Washington. It's all the way down in the north... Uh, in, the, in the southeast corner of the map, that's north, that's south, get it straight, and uh, we'll go see what we can find down there. I would love to find some more ammunition for our Eagle Fire, because it does use military ammunition, even though it is a civilian-grade weapon. In fact, I think we should do a quick demonstration of this weapon, give you some instruction, but first I'm going to eat some uh, some salmon. Is that cooked? Oh, sure it is. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, down the hatch, I feel a little better now. And we have lots of space here for goodies. And, oh, oh dear, we should probably fix up our night vision goggles. Let's do that right now. So we found these in the last trip down. Where did we go? We went down to Olympia, right? Yeah, awesome. Check it out. Oh, it's only two metal. Okay. Should we repair anything else? Uh, no, I need to save my metal for some other stuff for the secret project, which we're going to get to pretty soon although we just need one more duct tape for that so that is also something we'll be on the lookout for today okay uh how much time do we have left here uh, okay sun's still coming up we've got plenty of time it's not even noon let's take a look at our eagle fire weapon and i want you to be well versed in its operation so there it is eagle fire it's a semi-automatic uh, assault rifle it does not have an automatic um, select so it's got safety and semi but it is super accurate and super um, damaging so it's got good damage high durability um, highly accurate and it's also very versatile so it can accept all of the various attachments we have a barrel attachment here and I have a military muzzle on it right now we can put a tactical attachment on there I don't have any of those yet hopefully we'll find something nice like a flashlight or a red dot uh, we have a grip attachment. I've already got one in there, the vertical grip. As I said, it takes military mags, which means we can use military drums. Hopefully we'll find one of those. And of course, it takes sights, and we have our red chevron on this weapon at the time being. So, there you go. Um, now, let's go. Oh, did I happen to mention one of the, my favorite things about this weapon is the super durability. I think it's probably the most durable weapon in the game. Um, yes, it is. Did, did you just say no? What do you know about weapons? All you do is eat and shake your head. You're so negative, Miss Maddie. Yes, you are. Don't deny it. 
Now I'm going to go and I want you to... You're in charge. Yes, you are. Listen, I'm going to turn you into a cheeseburger. I'm getting tired of her negativity. Uh, all right. Let's make sure we have everything we need. <laughs> got a sidearm, some ammo, and we got plenty of space in Road Warrior in case we find some goodies, right? Oh, yeah. That's completely empty. Extra gas can. I got a gas can here in my pockets. Is blowtorch. Yeah. I think we're ready to rock. And we have about half a day. Okay. Let's hop in. Remember, be very careful when you hop in this thing, okay? Oh. Oh. So switch out with the barbed wire. All right, can you uh, can you hop up on the roof and tell me where to go? Because, whoa! Um, I should probably hit the reverse. Yeah. Because I can't barely see anything with this. We're going to need to make some sort of a garage around here, I think. All right, you're good. Hop back in. Thanks. We're going to need to make a garage somewhere so we can park these more sensibly when we come back from trips. All right, tell you what, since I woke you up early, and I feel badly about that. <laughs> oh, no, not really. Uh, why don't you go ahead and catch some Z's right now, and I'll wake you up when we get to Paradise Point. Or if anything really cool happens. Psst, hey, wake up. Come on, wake up. One quick stop here in Seattle. Yeah, I want to stop at this apartment building because sometimes this apartment building has glue. The people here like to eat glue. So, I need glue for my secret project. So, let's run in here real fast and see if we can find some glue or even some duct tape. Ah, perfect glue! It doesn't matter what condition it is. Because I'm just going to mix it up with some clothing anyway. And turn it into duct tape. And that is all I needed. That one bit. Ooh, well, that's... I guess that's edible. Barely. But I'll eat it. I'll eat anything. I have to. Uh, purple day pack. We can rip that up. Let's do that right now. Purple day pack. And let's make our duct tape with the glue. And we're going to need that. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this chocolate bar. <clears throat> ah, that wasn't too toxic. Might as well check upstairs while we're here. I don't want to waste too much time here and in Seattle. Oh, but more glue, the better. And uh, you know what? I guess I'll grab that. What's that down on the floor? Nothing. Seriously, these people have to change up their diet a little bit. Whoa, look at all the glue here. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's go. Can I make that jump uh, without breaking anything? Yep, I sure can. Okay, so now where are we? We're right here. We're going to cut through Seattle. Over the Rainbridge Island, past the raceway, past Arlington Farm, and then uh, it's on the right. Okay. There we go. Let's go right through town. Try not to hit anybody. Oh, he hit me. I saw the whole thing. I got it on camera. In case he calls a lawyer. Nope. Oh, he hit me too. Ran right into me. Sheesh. Okay, you can go back to sleep if you like. Just a little sidetrack there. But now we got everything we need for the super secret squirrel project. Or sec super secret smurfy project, I should say. Yeah, that's more like it. Whoa, 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 hold up. Hold up. I just passed some sort of uh, convoy, military convoy, that looks like it's been destroyed. Oh, it sure has. And what is that right there? It looks like military ammo. Ooh. Sorry about this. Another detour, but... Looks like some goodies here. Sandbag, I don't need it. Military ammo crate. Perfect. We can get some more ammo for our eagle fire. Before we head into Paradise Point. Might as well check the rest of the stuff out. Oh gosh, another ammo crate. Okay, now we can use our gun. <laughs> Military vest. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Two rounds to the head with a helmet and a crawly crawler. I told you this thing has some damage. Very high powered. It's loud though, isn't it? Okay, that's it. Let's go. Although, wait. Actually, let's fill up our magazines. That one there and that one there. Okay. Looks like midday. Let's get back on the road. Just a little detour there. Alright, this is it. This is the place. It's the evac zone. 
Supplies and refuge. Yeah, right. I've heard that before. That's usually just ringing the dinner bell for the zombies. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, 24-7, 365. Alright, let's see. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Towers. Is that a fence around it? Oh, sure. There is. There's a cop car inside. And yeah, let's see what we can see. Any zombies? Oh, yeah. Yep. Sprinter right out front. Everybody here has been zombified, apparently. Let's shut off the lights. And we'll go in shooting. Oh, I should have brought my Jenny. Should have brought my Jenny to open up that gate right in front, huh? Could have driven Road Warrior right in. But nah, I'd rather shoot him. I love this gun. Let's let's shoot everybody. Boom! Oh! This is so accurate. Single shots. Super powered. Very little recoil, especially with this hand grip. Is that what I think it is? Oh yeah, it's a fire truck. And, ooh, oh look, a backup road warrior. So we have medical tents here. And look at all the containers. Wow. Yep, that's a fire truck, all right. Yeah, and zombies. Grab that grenade. Let's just clear the whole place out first. And then we'll, um, then we'll go uh, tent by tent, tower by tower. Hello! And see what we can find. Oh, I love my eagle fire. What's the fisherman doing here? Looks like there were civilians. Yeah, it looks like the civilians actually came here for refuge. And what did they find? Death. Attacked by the biters. Et. Well, not completely et, but certainly transformed. Oh, I love this fence. This is a really, really secure location. If you can clear out the inside and keep them out. I'm over here, fella. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, ooh, it's a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. That's a nice assault rifle right there. Oh, yeah, it's in pretty rough shape, though. I'll check that out later. But look at this. How many shots have I fired so far? Uh, uh eight, 17? 17, right? So 15 here and two at the roadblock. And uh, we're only at 90, we're still at 97%. That is incredible. I love having a weapon that I can rely on. Not have it jam up on me in the middle of combat. No, it's not an automatic, but I like to aim and shoot anyway. This is my, it's my style. It's a red umbrella, I already have that. Piece of cheese, bread, it looks like, yeah, civilians are living in here. Protected by the military. Kind of, sort of, but not really. <laughs> it's not even funny. Why am I laughing? Terrible, terrible thing, that. All right, let's head up in this tower and see what we can find. We've got gas tanks here, too, so we can fill up before we go. Boy, I would really love a flashlight attachment for this gun. All right, anything up here? Nope. Oh, a desert beret. That's cute. And there's another one, but I don't want them. Take the barbed wire, though. So we can fix up our road warrior when the barbed wire on it falls off eventually. We got some Zeds here. Alright, let's sprint. I want to get this done before it gets dark. Check out that that heartbreaker in a bit. What do we got here. Oh yeah, military mag. Lovely. Anything up on the top bunks? No. What's this? Oh, another peacemaker, but I have I've got a peacemaker and I have plenty of ammo for it already. So I don't even think I'm gonna bother, to be frank. Don't need it. So these are the military barracks. Right here, this is where the soldiers slept and tried to protect the civilians, but failed in that endeavor. Didn't they? Oh, another saber tooth. I'm gonna take the magazine. Oh. Oh, yes, I am. As soon as I get organized here. All right, get it. I already have a saber tooth. Back at home, so I'm just gonna take the magazine out of this one and then we'll scrap it 
Right there, three metal for that saber tooth. Perfect. All right. What else we got here? Another peacemaker. And oh, an Avenger! <gasps> I was hoping we'd find one of these. Oh, this is such a nice weapon. You know how I like reliability and durability, right? Well, this right here is probably the most durable and reliable handgun in the game. It's the Avenger. Let's go find someone to shoot at with it. So this is the standard military issue Avenger. Holds 13 <laughs> rounds. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> Except I got the better of you. 24 rounds in there. And it does use military ammo, of course. Being a military weapon. Let's see if we can draw some nasties out. And we just have to find some more magazines for it. It's got pretty decent damage. Not as much as, say, a Desert Eagle or the Ace, but it's good enough. And where haven't we been? Let's go over this way. 13 rounds in a magazine is actually really nice. Ooh, computers. Mm. Oh, suture kit, I'll take that. Might as well grab all the medical supplies we can fit. And I heard a zombie, but I don't see him. Maybe up at the top of this tower. It'd be nice to find a sniper rifle, because I have a plan for a rifle. Oh, hello, fella. One, two. Ooh, two rounds to the head that time. Nice. Oh, somebody heard that. There he comes. Double tap. All right, let's get that magazine out and refill. Reload it. Boom. And let's see. Can reload that one, reload that one, and reload that one. Awesome. Let's put in a full mag and the eagle fire as well. Oop, I didn't reload my handgun. So yeah, check out the durability on this one. Although it was damaged when we found it, right? So hey, let's see if we can repair it right now. And I'll show you how awesome this thing is. Yep, right there, three metal. Oh, so sweet. That's going to be my new sidekick, sidearm, <laughs> for sure. And it does take barrel attachments, doesn't it? Oh, it does! And tactical. I think this is the only handgun in the game that takes both. Sweet. A red umbrella. Oh, I've been here already. <laughs> is that everything? No, can't be. I want more. Well, let's just cut through here. And did I get all the towers? Oh, shucks. I guess I did. All right. Well, let's check the containers. Maybe there's some goodies in here. Oh, pff. I opened the door from the backside. That's pretty cool. Ow. Oh. These are all empty, aren't they? I bet they are. Destruction helmet. Some rope. I would love to find another generator. Construction helmet. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to bring a generator in the Road Warrior for gates like this. So we can power it up, drive right in, and then fill up the tank. Because now it's going to require me to run around a lot. Which I'm not too keen on. We'll park it right here as close as we're going to get. Alright, I guess I'll take the... Uh, Fire truck down to the gas. Better than walking, right? We've got a helicopter pad here too. All right, let's fill these up. There's one. All right, the gas cans are full. Let's blow this joint and go home. Actually, let's not blow the joint because I want to come back. <laughs> it's just an expression. I heard Han Solo say it once in Star Wars. <laughs> And now I like to say it occasionally. Whoop! Or, okay. Switch up. Switch cars. 
Just driving around here. It's better than walking. Walking's for the boys. So next time we come, we'll bring a generator. We'll open up this power source, and then we can get these vehicles out of here. And keep them. Bring them home. Or just leave them here. I don't know. Now I heard a zombie. I wonder if he gave up chase. I guess he did. Boy, what a shame that I didn't find an attachment for this gun. I would really like a flashlight. Because I like it better than using the uh, the night vision, frankly. Oh well. We'll come back another time. And the Apocalypse L's will certainly refill the uh, all of all the loot spots. <laughs> They'll restock the shelves when they have a chance. Alright, let's go. Crank up the lights. And we got a long drive back, but I think we're gonna go. We're not gonna go the city way this time. We're gonna go to the right here. And over our bridge. Oh, look! It's our race car! Oh, how I miss you so! We've gotta come back for our race car one of these days. This is a lively town. Just passing through, folks. Just passing through. Ooh, guns. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Guns. Let's go check the guns. Ooh. Ooh, he got me. Snuck right up. Alright. Pop those pills. Ooh, antibiotics. Actually, actually, I'm going to keep those. Sport shot. Another eagle fire. Oh, how lovely. And a military mag. And I'm going to take that. It's 100%. Sport shot mag. Uh, I don't need cash. What's in there? Nothing. And there's that dang camera. All right, well, let's grab this. Uh, let's grab this gun right now. All right, guys, I just swapped out the 100% Eagle Fire for the 96% Eagle Fire. All that fighting, and that thing's only went down 4% durability. Told you they're awesome. But I don't really need to, so we'll break that one down into metals. And let's crank up the night vision. And I need a Band-Aid. Just one wee little Band-Aid. Just a rag. Does anybody have any clothes... Nobody has any clothes here? Really? Alright, well, let's go check the pizza place. I'm not gonna find clothes in the pizza place. How about we go check this house real quick? What do we got here? Apple juice. Oh, somebody's in here. Oh, duct tape. And more duct tape. Can I just... <coughs> oh, hello. Duct tape, thanks. And grab the parka and the shirt. And I gotta get moving. Oh, gosh. Here they come. Here they come. Alright, I'm running. Let's go. I'll heal up when we get home. Oh, it's a fast runner. Haha, <laughs> say hello to my Avenger. Hop in, let's go. Shut those off. Whew. Okay, we made it. There's our home sweet home right here. Out on the island, you can see our lovely tower. And hopefully, Maddie the Mad Cow didn't let any uh, thieves in burglarize the place and if they did she will become a cheeseburger I promise you that and with that my friends I think we're going to call it a full day whoa 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 oh oh gosh easy does it easy road warrior slow it down okay that's better let's try to keep all four wheels on earth shall we oh oh this is why you don't want to store boxes up on the roof. Because it'll be too top heavy. Uh, easy does it. And we're back. Mad Cow Island. Stay straight. Whoosh. And now, my friends, I'm just going to park it. And get to bed. And in the morning, we'll go through all the inventory and check out our new weapon. The Heartbreak. Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker right there. Pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, look at Maddie. Well, she didn't turn the lights off, but she did close the door. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, 
I'm going up. Going up to bed. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. And here we are, all the way to the top. Shut that off, and I'm going to bed. Hitting the sack. Good night. Ooh. <laughs>